the gatekeeper you are joffrey yes oh you think i'm black we all look alike huh uh, that's racist man i left america to escape oh. that kind of racism they all know me no higher than a living i'll catch this bird for you bad fish i'm not going to the pond and chasing bluegills or tommy cats this dino swallow you whole. No seeker, tenderizer, mm, down you go. Won't bring back the tourists, but it'll put your businesses back on a paying basis. Um, excuse me. Huh? We aren't hunting the Indominus until later in the movie. Oh, oh it's the big white one then. Well, Mr. Mayor, Frenchie, ladies and gentlemen. Where do you fair Spanish lady? Where do ladies of Spain? Hey everyone, welcome to Adept Reviews. We do things a little differently around here. And today's review is of the Raptor Princess. The Lego Jurassic World Raptor Escape Set. This guy is actually really cool. It's a price point of 40 bucks. It's available, I believe, exclusively at Walmart. So without further ado, let's do this. This Lego stuff continues to blow my mind. Absolutely blow my mind. You have a Raptor pen. You get your two Raptors, Charlie and Echo. You get a minifigure of a veterinarian and Barry, played by Omar Sy. I guess I'll start with likeliness and we're gonna do the humans in a second because I like Omar Sy. I think he's a very talented actor. So what we got here is Charlie and Echo. This is Charlie, this is Echo. They have roughly the same exact patterns on the legs and the sides, but they are a little bit different. They have the Lego pieces on the top so you can ride them into the sunset. They're hard plastic, mouths articulate open, they have full teeth, they look absolutely phenomenal. We'll get to the head sculpt in a second. It feels like this tail is a softer rubber at the tip here and then about like right here it goes to a hard rubber. I'm not going to bother with tendering with it because this looks like it's glued in and then if I mess around with it I'm probably going to break it and I don't want to do that. It also looks like there's like this little line, you can see it probably better here on Echo. There's like a little line. It might be two different plastics or how they put it in, but how to put them together. Oh no, decapitated Charlie. It's just a little black piece here and then put the head in. It's a lot of fun stuff putting this together. I want to say how awesome this set is in a second. Especially when I was putting together these raptors. These raptors are just amazing. Especially Charlie here. Echo looks pretty good too. If you look at Echo from here, it looks like the Jurassic Park 1 in the kitchen. But Charlie's Lego is phenomenal. Even though both of these aren't 100% movie accurate, Charlie over here is definitely a green, but this darker green is more of like a blue around him rather than a darker green. So, but it still looks like a great figure. And Echo is fairly accurate, but instead of this mossy green she has, it's actually more of like a darker, like desaturated blue or a black. But it still looks great. These figures look awesome. They have sickle claws. They have sickle claws! Take notes, Hasbro. This is how you do toys. Lego does it right. They're a little bit expensive, but I'd rather pay a little bit more for actual awesomeness. It costs 35 bucks for the Raptor Squad Titan Class exclusive at Target. Or I think all of them cost probably like 40 bucks individually, but if you're buying toys, you better buy them the Lego ones first and then decide on the Hasbro stuff second, in my opinion, because I pretty much was going to buy a bunch of Hasbro stuff this month and I ended up buying this Lego stuff instead. I think they're pretty awesome. Articulate this way, this way. They're not in the scale. I can say that now. If they weren't to scale, this vet would probably be about that yay high. So what are you going to do? That's the only bad thing about, I guess, is these figures. Here's a comparison really quick of the Dilophosaurus and the Velociraptor figures. They're about the same exact size, body size and tail size for each other. These looks like the same exact teeth. 
So a little bit different colors, but almost the same colors and almost the same skull size as well. But they're each of them are unique to each other. The frills, the head, the skull. This guy's a little more sharper on top of the eyes. And Charlie here's a little more rounded out. So they are unique and they do kick a lot of butt. So that's pretty cool. So I have Raptor Blue here from the Raptor Rampage set to compare to the old Lego Adventures line I have here. You can see that Raptor Blue is the pretty much the exact same height as the Tyrannosaurus Rex from 2000 and also is in the Spielberg set. Lengthwise, the T-Rex is a little bit bigger, but the better figure hands down is the Raptor Blue. 15 years of engineering goes into this and you get awesome paint seams, a pretty good sculpt, awesome mouth, detailing everywhere. It looks just amazing. It's a really great little figure, and this is just kind of garbage. I mean, it has a decent mouth, no color, just one color. It has dragon arms. It's got maybe a little nice feeling on the rigid of the feet, but other than that, it's stationary. The tail moves a little bit, big deal. Same exact block placement on the top. No detailing in the eyes like the Stegosaurus has and like the Pteranodon has. It's just like, I'm so glad we have awesome figures like this now compared to this garbage we had in 2000. I'm so glad that these figures right here look just so amazing compared to their 15 years ago counterparts. They haven't regressed, they've progressed. So that's why Lego kicks a lot of butt. Let's get into these humans, I guess, next. Barry. Barry, I hope, is Chris Pratt, named Owen Grady in the film. I hope he's his right-hand man. Right now, it is June uh, 7th? Six? I don't know. I lose track of the days. This is Barry, played by Omar Sy. Black man. He's got a like almost a wife beater thing there. And then this, call this like an orange peach jacket, I would call it. Because it's a long sleeve button up with the pockets and the collar. And he's got this beige khakis. He's got a cool little mustache. And in the back, he's got some cool detailing of his shirt. The stuff you see, I, I would say, now more so than you used to do in the 90s. They put a lot more detailing in. Uh, here are the weapons. He has a syringe. You get like an extra one or two syringes and a sniper rifle he gets to own. And you got the uh, veterinarian, which is random, but you can probably double this as the guy who falls into the, the raptor pit that Owen saves. I guess, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen anything at all <laughs> for Jurassic World. He has his little vest and shirt. And he's got blue pants. And if you rotate him around, this is really cool. I guess I'll just go with the, uh, the shirt he's got on. It's actually like a holographic Jurassic World backing of his little jacket vest thing. This is something I haven't really seen before because I've been out of the game for like 10 years of Legos. They have double faces and they add in like lower haircuts for most of the Lego figures. You can flip around and he can be frightened. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And now that I have seen it, that is awesome. So that's pretty sick by Lego. They pretty much do this because, you know, the Lego movie, they came out, not just that, but before that, they'd have the games, they would animate uh, Lego Batman and the, like Lego Star Wars. Let's talk about Barry's car. Pretty much the first thing you do is you create the raptors, the humans, and then they're, uh, I don't know what the hell this is, some kind of like electric prod or something. But this guy is quite, quite sturdy. I'm giving it some force. I'm not gonna give it too much force in the tires, but giving it quite a bit of force here. And it is not budging. It is doing a pretty good job of staying together. I just fucked up my camera. So this is a really good uh, solid ATV four-wheeler, whatever you want to call it. And he has a launching missile. I don't know. This is kind of, it's, it comes off like this. I'm actually using quite a bit of force and it's not coming off. Bam. Okay, wow. See, Lego's solid. Really solid construction. But this is like a little arm that goes on to the side there. There you go. And then you can either put... I think I only had one. That's what the instruction said, at least. And then, you, you know, you launch it type of deal. And, and the detailing on this, I might as well just get to this now. The detailing on everything Lego is just uh, breathtaking, mind-blowing. You're putting on these pieces. They're sturdy, number one, and they're sharp, sharp as hell. We have 
license plates with lights just more details they add in so many extra pieces to make it look legitimate especially compared to the 90s which i grew up on all these lego sets they used to have the people who work for lego now just blow my mind with all the detailing that they use like these little white pieces i don't think i've ever seen those before just detailing of you know, hood covers for the tires it's just mind-blowing how awesome lego is stickers on this little there's like a little blue piece right here to put on the, the front hood of the atv it's just great color scheme clean blue and white and they keep it just together they do an excellent 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 job can't talk enough about these raptors though like look at the head and look at the eyes of this raptor that is just phenomenal. Her hands, I guess, just like in the photos, can grip onto the fence. Raptors also are just completely gorgeous. They have this shape. It goes like up and down. Instead of just a flat tail straight across, you know, we have the bobbing head, straight body, you know, bent knees, bent elbows. The arms are ready to strike. And the tail goes a little bit up instead of just straight across. It's, it's a really great looking figure. Let's talk about the actual paddock itself. It looks very good, mostly because of the gate. Just like in the first Jurassic Park, loose by the top here. Mine has like a notch. It kind of just stays there. Don't know if that's like everyone else's. I'm gonna look at some research of that. But that's kind of, I don't wanna say ratchet, but the detailing is incredible. Like, yeah, like warning stripes and labels, red and green little like lights put stickers on the front here got this like gate from the first film look it's apexing at the top with these little lights they're kind of like the flames you know it just oh man it looks great another warning thing here lego does a phenomenal job with the detailing of anything like like who do they think of just like oh we're gonna have this plain thing let's add this little warning uh just put this on here with this little piece right here to make it look like it's electrified when you're building this gate you're going to be adding so many like little intricate pieces and you're just going to be like oh my god here's another thing about the engineering it's fantastic mostly but say for example you get all these pieces and you're just like okay well how am i going to do that and then the instructions say well put that guy on okay cool but what about is this going to be sturdy well then the instructions will say put that guy on and you'll be like okay well how do i finish that up well then uh put that guy on and they'd be like, okay, well, what about this other piece? Well, then put this guy on. It'll make it uh, look pretty. You're, and then you sit back and you're like, wow, that's brilliant. People working at Lego blow my mind. They blow my mind. If you look at the back of this, you'll be putting it together. You'll notice you got these little nudges here. And you're like, oh, what are those for? But then if you have these nudges here, that actually holds the gate up. Isn't that brilliant? That is just amazing. Uh, I might as well just go into one problem I do have with this gate piece. The, these pieces here here and here on the back come off very easily i wish that there was some kind of piece on the bottom that kept all these together that would be great you can just add a piece there and then add another on the bottom of the rest of these to have some more sturdiness i added some gray pieces right there and right there so you can get the back of this guy right there to be more supportive it doesn't fall out as well as this tray right here and it is very much more sturdy but it doesn't sit flush on the ground it looks kind of weird I'm, I'm actually happy that this doesn't bend too much because this is higher this is lower you see that there's a lot of gap here and it goes down to the floor flush down that way so it doesn't look too bad but the bending is going to occur if you do this but you have more sturdy pieces here they're not gonna fling off i'll also add that the gate is just big enough for a raptor to clear so that's good but another problem i had with this guy was i was putting in one of these black pieces i don't know what one i was connecting it to but putting in i think it was actually this one right here i was putting this in and actually destroyed like all of this like here it was like, actually think it was exactly like this. I destroyed this on accident. Uh, be careful when you're putting in these black rods because you'll probably do the same thing as me. Besides that, the construction is quite solid. Two things that kind of are dumb about this set. I actually wanted to just say three. You have two Raptors, they're pretty big, they're nice figures. They barely fit in this enclosure. That's not cool. This enclosure should be twice the size of this. You really need to buy two of these for actually a, a nice looking enclosure. They also have 
pegs on the bottom so they can stand up in places. So you really need to buy two of these sets for an actual pen that fits them. That's problem number one I'm, I'm talking about. Problem number two is, you know, this is electrified, right? But Raptors can jump quite high and they could easily jump over this really short fence. You know, you see in the film that their enclosure is like literally way up high because they can jump really far and really high. So that's uh, gripe number two. Gripe number three is, I know it's for kids, I know it's, you know, action feature stuff, but th the main thing of this whole enclosure, besides, you know, the ability to escape, is the raptor goes, hey buddy, I want you to come down here, bam! You just press this, this little circle, lazy Susan looking thing, and you just you have to just ram your head, and he comes down. It's great for kids, but as an adult, it's not too practical. And it's kind of stupid. I mean, no, no one in Jurassic World or in the right mind is gonna create a platform that. Has... My hands are too big. I guess that's another thing. This this uh this kit is a little hard to put together for big hands. All my stickers are okay, except that I messed up on this one. It's a little crooked. And uh, don't bother trying to take them off and putting them back on because you're gonna mess up those corner like I did. I also find it funny that they have a little chicken bone. Here's a big finger problem again. You little chicken bone. Here you go, Raptor, eat a chicken bone. I'd rather eat you! Rawr. So, that's funny, that the chicken bone for the Raptor and a chicken bone for the Dilophosaurus. So, bashing that, even though it's a great action feature for kids, it's, it's not too practical, it's kind of dumb. It's whatever. So, this enclosure, a bit small. Raptor's not in scale with humans. Not too practical of a action here with this gate dropping down. My gate has a nudge. It has some possible durability issues, I should say, or just with these pieces connecting. It could have a little bit better engineering, but overall the engineering is phenomenal. These figures look fantastic. Dual-sided for the vet. These raptors are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's no other way to describe it besides gorgeous. Like, look at Charlie. My god, that is a great looking raptor. I am putting Charlie on my desk. Oh man, this set. I really, 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 really want to give it a 10 out of 10, but I'm actually gonna give it a nine. I don't have a big problem with this. It was mostly this and this. The gate looks fantastic. This whole set looks fantastic. It's just those little nuances. The little nuances weren't too much the problem. The thing that made me not give it a 10 out of 10 was the sizing of the paddock. I'm gonna show you shots of the packaging. The packaging made it look like this paddock wasn't this small. That's why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10, I'm giving it a nine. A nine still means that's a good score for me. I rarely give out nines, even though I've given out, I think, two for this channel. It's only because I buy good stuff. But this is the Raptor Escape Paddock. I think it's only available at Walmart. I haven't seen it anywhere else. I think kids are gonna love it. It is a little small. If you're really worried about the small stuff and you have a lot of money, go for buying two of these. You can spend the 80 bucks, you can combine both of them. I mean, it's Lego, why can't you combine both of them? Here's what it looks like if you have the enclosure open to halfway, and if you had like say 200 of these enclosures for 40 bucks a piece, you can see that it is enough room for two raptors. You can see we can probably have it about there. So that, that's a good size enclosure for two raptors. Once again, this is the Jurassic World Raptor Escape set from Lego. You guys have to purchase this. Nine out of 10, nine out of 10. Buy all the Lego stuff. Just phenomenal. Once again, in the reviews, you guys have a nice night. So that was the review for the Raptor Escape Lego set from Jurassic World. I recommend you picking this guy up. I think it's really cool. If you aren't already subscribed, click the subscribe button and give this video a like down below. And once again, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Rawr, rawr.